In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at two brush tools that will allow you to manipulate color. So if you go down to the brush tools in the tool panel, you will see that we have the color replacement tool and the mixer brush tool, both with the shortcut key B. Now the color replacement tool is going to allow us to select a color or a grayscale value in our image and affect other colors in that image based on what you sample. Now to ever sample anything inside of Photoshop with any tool, you just hold down the Alt key or the Option key on Mac OS and you'll get a color picker or some type of sampling tool and you can just click and when you do, it'll sample that color and bring it into the foreground color and then we can draw to affect that. So whenever we pick that color, and we begin moving around the screen, you can see colors are changing throughout the screen based on that color that we picked and the hue that it's given. So we can undo that, we can sample a separate color, and you're gonna have a different hue go across the colors of the screen as we begin moving them around. So we can also affect the saturation. So depending on the color or grayscale value that you pick, you can desaturate your image. So we'll undo that, we'll pick maybe a lighter color and see how that affects the different colors on this swatch. Pick a darker color. We can also affect the color, so we can pick one of these colors, and as we move across the different colors in this image, you can see how it's affecting those. And then we'll pick another color, like this red, and as we move across the screen, holding down the brush, you can see how it's changing everything in the screen based on that. We can also affect the luminosity, so how the light is reflecting to this image. So here you can see I picked a lighter color and how it's changing it. And here we'll pick a darker color and you can see how it's affecting the luminosity there. So it gives you a way to affect the colors in your image and it overlays those so you see it doesn't completely block it out like a normal brush would, but you're affecting these different modes. Then we have some other options here. We can have a sampling that is continuous. So when we sample, it will continuously pick up those colors. We can sample once or we can sample the background swatch if we would like. And then we have limits that we can set. It determines the spread of re the replaced color. So that can be discontinuous, contiguous, or fine edges. And then of course the tolerance, how tolerant that sampling is, if it's anti-aliased and also pressure sensitivity. So we can use our tablet here also. The next one that we're going to look at is the mixer brush tool. And this is actually going to act as if you were mixing colors with real paint. So you can get some really cool effects here if you're doing any kind of uh, watercolor designs or any kind of beauty retouching, this tool can come in handy. So we're just gonna sample a color and you see it pops up in the thumbnail there. We have this center red color. And then we can tell how we want it to uh, react on the page. So here we can have different combinations. We can have it dry, dry with the light load, dry with the heavy load, moist, wet, and very wet, and so on. So we'll start with maybe just a dry. We'll sample that red and we'll paint over here. And you can see when we lay it down, it actually looks more like real paint than when you're just using a brush. So you get kind of those smudged edges as if you were using some kind of uh, dry material. So we'll change this to a different setting and sample a different color like this blue. And we can draw on there and you can see how that affects the, uh, the image here. So maybe just pick another color and see. So it looks like I'm really smearing actual paint here on this page. So we'll pick uh, wet. I'm just sampling colors in the swatches and moving it around the page and you can see how it's reacting. And then we'll do a very wet. So as you can see, you can get some really cool effects. Again, you could use this if you were doing actual water coloring or painting of some sort and using a tablet, but you can also find ways to use these types of tools uh, with say um, masks 
or if you're using them to do beauty retouching or touch up a photo, you can get some really cool effects that way also. And all of these different settings that I'm changing here are just changing these settings here. So the wet, the load, the mix, and the flow. And then you have different settings for the tablet and if you want to sample all layers also here. So those two brushes are going to allow you to use a brush tool. You can still use actual brushes, which is nice, but it allows you to adjust the colors on the screen and actually react more as if you were using real paints.